Today I'm going to build a racetrack, one that will be used in the actual game as a built-in track. And uh, I've got this nice map of uh, most popular uh, racing tracks around the world. I've looked at it for a while and I think I'm going to go for this barber circuit. This one. Found some images for reference. It has this nice huge spider <laughs> in the middle of the track. And uh, I'm going to just try to build it. So I will be using the same tools that you all will have uh, when you get the game. Basically it's just the track editor and nothing else. So I'm opening up the track editor and let me just put this on the side so I can take a look and let's begin. I'll start by editing the first couple of nodes. The starting position should be somewhere somewhere in the middle of this long straight. I think I'll start by making the track a little bit wider up front. Maybe even more wider because most of uh, the tracks in the game are quite narrow and sometimes it's difficult to, to not go off track. Okay, so I will just quickly run through the shape of this barber track. I think it goes like this, something like that. There's a small bump here, a long straight, another straight, some bump here, something like that, and then it connects. To just to connect it, you don't have to click it here, but you have to do open close and it just closes the loop. Okay, is it close enough? I don't think so. So I will have to edit and I'll have to straighten up some corners. Now when you want to have a straight, you have to align these so they fall like in, in the same line. You can even overlap them a little bit. And same goes for this. Now I want my starting position to be over here, so I'll click move start and it shifts it one step. All right, now let's see. This angle looks a little too, 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 too sharp. I think there's some issue when I zoom out. I cannot drag these, but I can drag those. I'm going to fix it later. Okay, so this is a big, nice, round, round circular thing. which then becomes a bit of a straight. A bit sharper angle in here. Hmm. It should be perpendicular, maybe like this. So I have to do a little bit bit more to adjust it. Ah, it will be good enough. Okay, it will have to do and now a little bit 
behind the finish, the start finish line, this curve starts to happen and we will put it like in here. goes like that, then it becomes straight, something like that, I think. Should be a little bit more straight. Maybe like this. Oh. Yeah, something like that. You know, there's this little bump. A little bump to mess with AI. I'm going to have to place something in here. Then there's this curl, which then becomes another straight. Okay, like that. And there's this another curve which again becomes another straight and it goes for a while something like that maybe too far and then Some stuff is happening over here. Yep, like that. And at this place we, we have to do something like 90 degree angle. So I'll extend this and... Well, it looks close enough, doesn't it? And I will click on this to close the current tool. And uh, it's almost five kilometers. I think it's a little too big. I'll shrink it. Yeah, something like this. It's not the scale compared to the actual track, of course, but for a game like this, it's not bad. Uh, quicker gameplay. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll let the AI drive around. Okay, it's a little bit too wide, I think. Or maybe I should keep it like this. to have overtakes and such. Nah, it's too wide. I'm gonna make it harder for you guys. Narrower, narrower and shrink. Let's see how it goes. Now we're talking. Otherwise, you wouldn't even have to use brakes to go through this. Which would be unfortunate. Okay. Now, the fun part. Making it look good. First of all, I'll save in case something crashes. Barber just barber. 
I'm just barber. Right, and now... I think start position should be a little closer to the middle of this straight. Like that. So usually what I do when I start adding objects, I just generate a bunch of them and see like uh, if I click generate all objects what uh, what will the generation come up with. It's not that bad but you can see like stuff flying around which doesn't make much sense. I can try a couple of times. No, but still, for built-in tracks I prefer to do it manually, so... Not completely manually, but... Uh, like a little bit of manual work, so I will just clear the objects and... I'll generate just a couple of things that are really tedious to add by hand, like tires. These rows of tires. Try a couple of times to see uh -huh. what I want from this is for generation to hit uh, some corners, like this one. This one is not bad, but a little bit less as I expected. So I will go, I'm going to try it a couple of times until I am satisfied. Yeah, it looks it could take a while, but okay. Now this corner is covered. There's a separation between start line and the next piece of track. Some tires here. This will be enough. Okay, so now cones. I'll generate some cones. But I don't see them. Oh, there they are. Cones are like a little touch, you don't need a lot of them. Just something to knock over. Then I will probably generate some rocks because I, I am too lazy to place them manually. Right. Yeah, good place. In the corner where you will hit them if you try to cut it. I like it. Now walls. I could generate walls, but I will not because sometimes walls are placed in really awkward positions, so I prefer to place them manually. Puddles. Let's see. Some puddles that will appear if you drive through them. Yeah, and an oil spill. Oil spill in the middle of uh, start finish line, I think it's not a good idea. Generally, if these puddles are added in a generated track, they will appear when it's raining. But in a regular track that I'm making by hand, they will appear right away. And uh, I'm not sure how to solve this, but I don't think I will want to have a lot of puddles. Like uh, one oil spill may be nice in some place, but it's also... Well, you know what? I'll remove the oil spill. If that was possible. Hmm, is it another bug? I think it's because it's on the road, so I cannot click it. Due to some recent change for performance for huge tracks. Okay, so I'm just try to regenerate puddles until there's not much of them. Too much, too much. Too much. Okay, just a couple of puddles. And of course on start finish line. I don't want it. Nope, nope. Well. Oh, 
they are on the side maybe I will be able to move them or delete them yep I want to delete it and this one I'm going to fix this don't worry guys I'm going to fix this quite soon all right so there's just one little puddle over here which I cannot get rid of but it's okay and one more here let's say it was raining yesterday all right now hmm. do I want to generate anything else maybe object groups they sometimes look nice What I like to do sometimes is to generate some object groups and then just move them around to find a nicer spot to place them, like in here. Maybe like this. I don't know how, how this house got oriented. I'm not sure why it's not perpendicular to this field. I believe I'll, I will have to look into it as well. And here the pipes are broken. Yeah, it's rotation constraints. That's why the game is not released yet, guys. It's not perfect at this moment. Those two silos will probably go here. And they will prevent... Prevent the cutting of this corner. I will also add some more pipes. You know, like there are pipes going away from this. I just cannot, cannot add them close to this group because it hits the collider but I can just add them further away and then move it like that I know I know it's not perfect yet maybe it will never be perfect but that's the reality of building a game on your own have to do everything yourself and perfection is the enemy of done so there will be some pipes going from those two silos they should go somewhere here there will be something that those pipes go into Let's see a vault the door of this vault will be oriented like that okay let's do this nice this corner is covered now I'm going to add some walls um, maybe these ones walls should separate the lanes so you don't accidentally run to another portion of the track 
which would cause a reset of your car and a small penalty. So let's not let's not make it possible. There. All right. Now let's also protect this corner from from running away on high speeds. You will bump into this wall instead. And since I started, I'm going to keep going and separate this portion like that. Okay, this looks good enough for an amateur job. I think I need some buildings. There were some buildings next to the start finish line, I guess. Something like something like this should do. These buildings belong to a city type of track, but uh, why not hell? Sunday now, by the way, so it's an appropriate track. Sundays are the days when I get to work the most on Bloody Rally Show. So I really like Sundays, indeed. will be enough to have some buildings near the start finish line. I want to rotate this one so badly, but I believe you know what I can't look at this. I'll have to delete the whole template. And uh, instead I will just build something unique over there like Maybe a lake? Let's add a lake. Start with a small water pond. Does it resemble a lake? We we'll have to do. And what do you have near a lake? Some benches to sit and relax. Maybe a tree. Or a couple of trees. And of course, when you're sitting and relaxing, you may want to go to take a dump. So there has to be a porta potty. Or two of them. Why not? We're missing something. It's the crowd. I want uh, the game to generate some people here. Maybe here. And maybe here. Why not? Okay, so... It's going slow. Uh, I'm going to add a hot dog truck. Okay. 
where do we want to sell hot dogs? Near the start finish line? Yeah, why not? There will be crowd here, so let's have a hot dog truck. And there will be a cart attached to it, like that. And of course some crowd to get those hot dogs. And uh, I guess we have to add some cones for safety, you know, so the racers won't just go and uh, crash into this crowd. Yeah, makes sense, right? And uh, why not have some benches so you can sit and eat your hot dogs while looking at the race. Maybe couple of rows of benches. And some crowd hanging around in here, I don't know. Let's see how it looks like. Oh yeah. Perfectly legit. Perfectly legit. Let's make a donut. Yeah, enjoy the burgers, enjoy the hot dogs, whatever. Oh, I pressed F1, so if you press F1 you get this little cheat sheet, which should have a little darker background, I believe. I'd like to save in order to not lose any progress. Oh, the benches moved and they never got back. Okay, that's a bug. Let's fix it right away, why not? I'm in the editor. So, how do I fix this? I will go to prefabs, objects, and I will find the bench. It has to be test drivable and it is test drivable. So why the hell it doesn't recover? Uh, let's take a look at the number test drivable object which does recover its position. For example, some tire. Because if you push the tire in uh, while racing, See, it, it has this drivable and it recovers. Okay. It's not in here. So let's see what this drivable does. On test drive, transfer position, transfer rotation, and start it gets rigid body. Uh -huh. I don't need this empty awake. So why doesn't it work for the bench? Let's open. Oh, there's no bench class. Something is not saved. Mm, why doesn't it work for a bench? Does it work for all kinds of benches or just this kind of bench? Let's add one more bench in here. Let's test drive. All right. Okay, it's just the white bench that gets... You know what? This white bench got restored. So that's some deeper kind of bug which I believe... Wait, 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 wait.
it's the crowd that messed up my benches. And now I cannot move the crowd back because of the road bug. Oh god. The crowd will have to be on the road for this. Let's see again. Crowd pushes the benches, yeah. Alright. I exit. Aha, I see this bench moved after after I exited. So somehow when I exit the play mode, some rigid bodies still happen to be in the scene and they are invisible, but they are pushing the bench. So that's why bench gets pushed. And I believe it is related to the crowd for sure. But I guess I will not, I will not pursue this for now. I'll fix it later. For now I'll just continue building the track. Right. Need some trees. Do we want to place the trees manually or just add some forests? Let's see. I think here is a good place for a forest with some stones. And in this spot, I'm also going to place some forest here too. I like it green. Green and dense. Oh, by the way, I haven't changed the ground type and the ground detail and the track type and so on. So I'll do it now. Ground type. Mm, honestly, I like this first one the most, but it's used so much, so much, so much. But I will keep it. And track type. Mm. Mm, nope. To be honest, the default settings resemble the actual racetrack the most. You know, just take a look at this. Maybe the grass could be a little lighter. So ground type this. Yeah, yeah. This resembles it even more. And the ground detail, uh, we'll mix it with some Maybe this, some dirt or sand. Yeah, this, this looks perfect. This looks perfect. And now I have to fill in all the stuff to make this track look better. So I will add some flowers probably in here. forests. Around this corner, so you don't want to fly out. Or you'll hit some tree. And I can connect these two forests together. Like that. more density to it. Okay, this part is covered with forest big time. Like that. Okay. How 
Let's look. Flowers, forests. Looks great. Okay. What else could we have in this track? We could have some solar panels. Where is a good place to, to have some solar panels? Maybe here, next to the start finish line. To prevent corner cutting as well. there and I like some to add some silos because their shadow looks really good especially when it falls on track like here there I'll add a couple of silos like this and where's where's a silo there should be something nearby maybe farmhouse this sci-fi farmhouse and if there's a farmhouse there should be crop field yeah let's add some crop fields Next to the crop fields, there will be a a ruined car in here. Uh, okay, and next to this car, there will be some tires lying around. You know, like disassembled. And of course, a big oil spill you can drive into if you're not careful enough. And safety first, so let's place some cones. So nobody will drive into this. Yeah. It seems like a good place for a crowd. Safe zone, you know. Where else can we put a little bit of crowd? I guess here. Because in the corners you have the most action, yeah. And uh, it's nice to watch the action, so why not place the crowd in here? And of course the start-finish line has to be crowded. Really crowded, yeah. This. some crowd near this vault mm, maybe some people who live near this house okay what else do we need a ramp somewhere in this map why not let's add a ramp Here we have a big straight, so we can place a ramp somewhere in here. I will have to fix this issue that prevents placing objects on the road. Another reminder to self. Now in this trade it looks quite empty, so I'm going to add some... Hmm, a little bit of flowers near the pond. Why not? And maybe... One more 
more forest in this blank space over here. have this empty zone over here so let's add uh, let's add another settlement maybe a couple of houses one house and another house on this side it will have a well Maybe a silo nearby. And this house will be fenced with this fancy stone fence. So no one will drive into it by accident. Since it has a nice backyard, I'll also add a tree in here, maybe some bushes. What was that? Oh god, what the hell was that? Whoa, okay. There's a bug in the bushes. Only in the bushes. <laughs> All right. That's a nice one. I'm going to save it. And just for curiosity, I'm going to load it and I will see if if this got saved. Yeah, it did. It got saved sideways. So the bush collided with the wall while I was dragging it. All right. Game development is so fun. And the reason is because box collider in this has to be a trigger not a an actual collider wait but it's not a trigger anywhere but it should be a trigger yes yeah, see there's it's a trigger Mm. Wall. Hmm. Thing is, ah, uh, I can see it now. It was some bug and collider was not present in the bush sphere collider of course because mm, not every bush uses a sphere collider right uh, let's see sphere collider sp sphere collider sphere collider but wait all the bushes should have a sphere collider bush it has a sphere collider and if we debug the inspector and it has a sphere collider so what the hell is going on 
Ah, it was one of the bushes I was trying to add while I was holding it, I guess. Anyhow. This episode, <laughs> this episode is getting a little too long. delete this bad bush and I will try to add a new one and we'll see all right it's definitely possible to reproduce so now I'm going to pause the game and I'm going to I'm going to see the bush that is pending addition this one And I'm going to see if this bush Jesus fucking Christ, it has a collider. I can see it here. Sphere collider. And it says object reference is not in instance of an object. Maybe these are all the errors? Are they old? Yeah, okay. These are all the errors, but still the bush is rotating and it's rotating regardless that freeze rotation. Wait. I'm a fucking idiot. Freeze position and freeze rotation are wrong. Let's take a cone for instance. <laughs> nice bug, all right. So the issue is that in the bushes, I should freeze position Z and freeze rotation of X and Y. And now, if I unpause and if I take a new object which Wait, 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 wait. Okay, it still rotates when it hits all the colliders, but it's because... Okay, new, 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 new error. Enabled. Collider. I get it. It's because start is called after set pending addition. So, collider is not there yet I could set this in either set this in awake maybe if I set it in awake let's first save sometimes I'm making <laughs> a track and I just stop the Unity editor without saving and then I have a bad time because the track is lost. So now I usually double check if I saved before stopping the editor. Let's open the barber. Barber, barber. Add objects. Bush. Yep. The bug is fixed. 
I can keep adding. Whoa, the fuck? Dude, seriously, what the fucking hell? Bushes are colliding with themselves. Well, fair enough, I think it's a feature. Let's keep it as a feature. So if you are adding bushes, just make sure that the distance is enough between them. One bush, two bush, three bush, four. And I don't need bushes anymore. All right. So nice to fix a bug. Okay, I'll add a couple more bushes in here. Some flowers. Much better, right? Now this house. This house looks empty. And uh, it will also have a fence around it. In here. That's enough. It will be unfenced in this direction. Since, since it has this patch of sand, it will have some nice sandstones. Maybe for decoration. Like that. And it will have some pipes going from here. into this silo. this is a little bit empty so I'm going to add some flowers and maybe a forest from the outside like to fix this bug with with pedestrians I believe it is related to dead pedestrians so let me just save and try to reproduce it real quick let's see all the pedestrians are alive. They are pushing, pushing this stuff. I exit and everything is perfect. Now, if I go back again and kill some of them, return, shit, still everything is perfect. And if I leave my car in, in the benches, like that, exit, aha, uh -huh. you see, they had inertia, they had inertia which transferred while the game was paused, I think I know how to fix this and I will do it right away. So first of all, let's, let's fix the rotation so they are nicely aligned like that not you crowd get get away get away get away get away okay move looks perfectly aligned to me perfect alignment right yeah, let's save. And now the issue. The 
the issue is that these benches and test drivable objects on test drive it saves the transform position and transform rotation and otherwise when test drive is over it restores the transform posi position and rotation but oh wait it does this it kills the velocity yeah it does it hmm so why the hell okay do the bench do these benches have rigid bodies and rigid body yeah they do have rigid body i could make it why does it use gravity what the hell there's no gravity in the game Maybe that was the issue. Yeah, no. I need to double check if any other rigid body use gravity. and find what I need, so whatever. No, I don't think gravity has a lot of impact because it's set to zero. So it's just like a small performance optimization to just disable it. So it doesn't try to apply gravity forces and it's definitely not the reason for this bug so why why in the hell it still keeps rotating after 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 test drive is over let's add a little bit of debug Stopping rigid body motion for no. You, know, you know what? I'll do it a little bit differently. If name. Starts with if name starts with bench the bubble debug log resetting bench motion. And I will add a breakpoint here and I will debug it. I think I saved the track so I can stop the game now and start it again. and exit test drive setting bench motion so it works rigid body velocity and angular velocity gets reset and the rigid body let's see inertia it has inertia yeah 
that will be the cause. I, I need to stop the inertia. So let's look. Should body stop inertia. I could make it kinematic but I don't want to because then and then I would have to make it non kinematic again but there there is something inertia turns and tensor rotation inertia tensor I will try to set these RB Inertia tensor will be vector free zero and RB inertia tensor rotation will be quaternion identity. Now let's try to destroy those benches and see if they keep rotating or not. this way or let me fix them once again save just in case And let's drive. Fuck my... Fuck my life. Let's take a look again at this. Transfer position, transfer rotation. Just for the test, what if I make make this stuff kinematic? could lead to, to some more bugs but what the hell let's see <gasps> oh 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 wait 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 inertia tensor must be larger than zero coordinates of course using random code from the internet is just what I need
like hi how sometimes developers do shit like that. Let's just see. A kinematic true and then right away is kinematic false and then right away I'm not sure setting is kinematic to true and then to false is even necessary well if you're not sure then just figure it out in the documentation or, the, or in the source code if there's some available all right just want to finish this track please let what was that there was an error but at, at least these got restored missing component uh, ah of course of course of course this is logical because yep and I think this will solve all my problems with editor objects pushing each other. And now the added bonus is that in the editor, I need to restart the game again. And you know what, on enable, if I'm in the editor, if rb is not null, I can right away set the rb to kinematic, because then I will be able to drag anything around and there will be no collisions, which is awesome. I don't want collisions right in the editor. And I think I need to change this to awake. Oh shit. Uh, because then rigid body will get initialized a little bit faster, earlier. is in place and I can add there used to be this test if you add a tire and another tire and another tire and another tire they just push each other and now if you start driving they will push each other after you start driving like this you see and then if I get back you get a clump of tires again I think it's it's good behavior because it's nonsense to let objects push each other while you're adding them. Right. Yeah, okay, so two bugs fixed. The bush bug and the pushing bug. Oh wait, I click delete instead of rotate. Now I have to re-add this bench again. it's not that simple because I'm clicking the crowd so I need to move it I wish I could fix this bug uh, I don't know how but uh, it's not going to be as simple as those other two bugs so I will just do it later I'll do it later Instead, I will finish this track by adding some flowers in here. Just 
for decoration. Nicer screenshot. Because when you save the game, there's a screenshot generated. And you can then see it there, but I don't see much flowers. No, there are some. I think there's. Yeah, there's definitely something over here. Okay. Now, from this screenshot, this area looks quite empty. I, I think I'm going to add more forest over there. Over there. Add objects. Forest. And let's go crazy with the forest. Let's go crazy with the forest. Going to be a foresty track. Perfect. Save it again to generate the screenshot and. How does it look? Yeah. A bunch of forest over here. Flowers over here. And I think it could be good enough. So I'm going to take my controller and give it a test drive. By the way, the frame rate is lower because I'm running it in the editor. And uh, there is a bunch of stuff going on behind the scenes. Crap, I'm such a bad driver. So when the game runs outside the editor in the built version, it is way smoother and it has high frame rate, so don't worry, guys. The game will be fast. Perfect track. Perfect lap. Once again, let's see if there are no nonsense. This looks a little empty. I will add a little more flowers in here and in here and maybe here. And maybe here, why not? And I think there's not enough crowd, so... Let's add some crowd over here. Some will be watching safely from behind the tires. Some will be watching safely here on the corner. And some will be watching safely here on the corner. Some over here. Some over here. Yeah, seems about right. No, if there's no one to watch the race, so what's the point of racing? Should be enough. It should be enough. Okay, I think I'm satisfied with this track. It resembles the barber circuit, I hope. And now to add the track to the game. To add the track to the game, I need to... 
open factory tracks add barber and then I need to copy the track I've just saved But before copying, I'm going to do a little trick. I will name it JSON zip and Windows stupid enough to get confused with the double extension. Yeah, I'm removing the zip, renaming this to barber JSON, this to barber JPEG, and I think the case also. I hate Windows. I really hate Windows. There, I have two files barber JPEG and JSON. Let's verify if it's actually JSON. Yes, it is. Now I'm copying these into my uh, resources tracks. There, Barber. Now I let Unity process it and I will test if this track is now available in the selection. Custom race, continue session. And I can see the barber track and I can even give it a go in some faster car. All right, so there was it. I've just added a new track to the game. I've just added a new track. And same way that you guys can create any track and upload it to workshop using the track editor. So thank you for watching this episode and see you next time. Goodbye.